we are going out. It's been a minute since Johnny and I have go went out like together without the kids. So this should be fun. Is there's no funnel cakes at Dairy Queen? She's like, we don't have funnel cakes. We don't have fun oh, this is what I got, guys. It's so freaking yummy. It's still, oh my. Mm. You seriously ruined it. <laughs> so we already out. Um, I'm a little intoxicated, to be quite honest. Let's see if Johnny's out here. Okay, he's probably waiting for you. But, oh, look at me. Still chubby. Chubby as foot. He's still gonna get it. Big old food. Oh my gosh. What the f Um What the f are we gonna do? <laughs> I'm on birth control, five year birth control, there's no freaking way. Like I have the IUD so I'm scared. I have to go to the doctor. So we're on our way to the ER right now. Um I don't really see the bed. Crimes hurt. So yeah, we'll see you guys when we get there. Okay, bye. 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 Um, we're in the hospital right now. Um, they took blood, they took some pee pee, they took some pee pee. Um, my blood pressure is really high. That's really all right now. That's it. And everybody fell in love with Navina. She's always getting so much attention. Huh, baby? Oh, baby? <laughs> I'm not pregnant. <laughs> it was a false positive. <laughs> um, how do you feel, Jonathan? Honestly, I feel good. Because it's more of like, if you're pregnant, it was going to be bad. Yeah, it was going to be bad for me. And not only me, but for the baby, too. So. Yeah, so, I mean, if you were her, I wouldn't mind. But that's what happened maybe tomorrow I'll explain a little bit more of what they did because uh, to be honest I'm just tired and hungry right now uh, but yeah so, for two hours yeah we're there for two hours for nothing she's like you know me so um it's the day after the hospital it's the day after the whole scare um okay so let me give you a run through of what happened yesterday in order okay so I haven't well first of all let me start by saying i have an iud i have the kylina it's a newer birth control it's five year and anybody who doesn't know what an iud is navina my my baby girl's right here so if you hear anything in the back um it's her so uh if you don't know what an iud is an iud is like this little t-shaped birth control that goes into your uterus and it stays there for five years sounds crazy i know but um I don't want to have a baby for like anytime soon. One day one of my friends came over, well she's my client slash friend, she told me that she um, had an eptopic pregnancy with the Kylina birth control and I was like what the heck, you know, you don't, with the birth control it tells you what's well, 99% effective and so I was like, you know, 1%, you know, I never really thought like I could be one of the 1% or even my, a girl that came to me to be the 1% let alone so that that day when she told me that it stuck in my head and I was like okay I gotta watch out for these these symptoms because if I if I do feel them it could be that I'm pregnant and it could be an eptopic pregnancy and if google eptopic pregnancy so you can know what it is but it could pretty much overall kill you it, it's not good at all so I've always been scared of it or scared for it. I do have periods every month. Um, I just get them very light and sometimes they're really irregular. Sometimes, those, you know, I just, I don't keep track of them very well, to be honest. And, but I know that it was already long overdue. My period was long overdue. So I was kind of worried. I started getting these really bad cramps and they were killer cramps. Like when I'm saying killer cramps, they were killing me. Like I was, it was like, I was like, having contractions in a way but not like exactly like that so they were they were bad um 
And just to be on the safe side, I always take a pregnancy test every month just to be on the safe side. Ever since I heard that story, I'm not taking no chances. You know, I'm not, it's not even about, oh, getting pregnant. No, it's not even about that. It's more about just making sure I'm okay. So I went, I got a pregnancy test, took it. It came out negative and I, I was like, okay, good. I'm not pregnant. My period's just probably coming. It's coming hard. <sighs> Man. So I, anyway, through the, the, uh, pregnancy test in the trash, Johnny, um, this guy's crazy. Okay. But Johnny has been kind of like wanting another child. Um, he's a loco. He's crazy. I'm not about to have another baby right now. That would be number four for us. So that would be Mm -mm. no not about to happen but so he like he went I guess I told him it was negative and then he I'm laying down on the couch or whatever this is like probably like only 10 minutes later laying on the couch he's like are you sure it was negative I'm like yeah I'm like it's right there in the trash we want to see it he's like yeah I know I'm looking right at it and then he goes grabs it shows it to me throws it at me and I'm like you know he always he's done this before like where he throws a test at me I'm like I look at it like thinking it's positive because I probably missed it and it's usually negative but this time there was a red freaking line I mean you guys seen in that clip back then like that was legit my reaction like what the heck like I was so scared guys I was so scared I think I, I almost started crying at a, at a point I just didn't record it <sighs> that was all my true emotions that was all Johnny's true emotions um we were just, both of us were just really scared because we thought something could happen to me. We, I ended up uh, just getting ready real quick. We left to the hospital, got there. They were taking forever. I was so nervous the whole time. I'm like, why aren't they calling me back already? I was like, just like antsy. I was like, come on, just take the test. Like, make sure, like, maybe it is a false positive. I was just hoping it was a false positive. That's all I wanted was like, just be, I don't care if I look stupid and be. they tell me, oh, you're not even pregnant. I don't care. I just wanted to be told I wasn't pregnant because I did not want something bad to happen. So, get back there, I take the, they, they take my urine, they take my blood, everything, um, and then they take me into the ultrasound, wheel me back to the room, um, then the doctor came in, like, a long time after, too, so I kind of knew nothing was that wrong, because they came in, like, late, later, later, like, I, we were there forever, it felt like, and she was like, yep, you're not pregnant, um, you're good to go, and I was like, whoa, I was like, oh my god. It was like legit like this just this relief was off of me a little bit it was like okay I'm not gonna die today you know <laughs> uh, but yeah so that's how that happened and I don't want anybody thinking that I think I've said this already probably a lot of times this video but I want to stress it to you all I would not would not be unhappy if I was pregnant okay would not it would definitely, definitely make me happy. It would make Johnny happy because a baby is a beautiful little blessing. Please don't take that out of this video. Don't take, oh my God, like all these women want to get pregnant and here you are crying that you were, you might have been pregnant. That is not what I'm trying to even insinuate in any way. I don't want any woman to feel that way, if that makes sense. I'm trying to be super sensitive about this because I have friends, I have family that have had miscarriages, so I'm not trying to make anybody feel bad. Um, so please don't, please don't, please don't come after me. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it was a little confusing, you guys can go ahead and DM me, um, even ask me some questions if you want. Uh, but yeah, this was a this was definitely a scare uh, because it's it's serious. This is definitely something that was, you know, out of nowhere. And it's just real life. And, you know, can't really predict stuff like this. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. All 130 something of you. I love you guys so much. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Also, if you can, share this channel. Um, share it with your friends, share it with your family. It's... I'm trying to make it more like to where I don't cuss, but it's overall family friendly. So yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have to say for now. I'm just like rambling and rambling and rambling. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time. Mm -hmm.